What's going on? This is Kareem from DJBoot.net, and I'm here in the lab to give you guys a really quick video review of the new Cali Audio LP8 Professional Studio Monitors. So if you guys have been paying attention to the channel, you've seen that we've done a slew of recent studio monitor speaker reviews. And now we have the ones from Cali Audio. Cali Audio is a pretty new company. They came out in 2018. They have the LP6s, which look very similar to these. They have a 6-inch woofer on the bottom. These are the LP8s, so they have an 8-inch woofer on the bottom and the same 1-inch tweeter at the top. They also have the IN8s, which are three-way speakers, which have a middle speaker there, so that way you have three different speakers in one setup so you have your low your mids and the highs all accounted for but most studio monitors these days are two-way so this is the tweeter and the woofer version this is the LP8 they're really big they're eight inch size woofer so that means you need a really big housing to hold these all in they're about the same size as the rocket eights the g4s that are out now very very similar in specs and they also have a somewhat similar sound as well so first off we're just gonna go with the build quality and the build quality of these is a nice MDF enclosure it feels really solid they have a good weight to them the front panel of course is like a molded ABS plastic style panel around the back you have another panel it feels like it has more weight to it feels like it has good reinforcements in it and that is definitely built to last like the other monitors in this same range or same price range actually also with the build quality you'll notice on the front it has a front facing base port and this has a really unique design and style and size to it so that it does not actually interfere with the air sound with your actual speaker sound because some of the front facing base ports actually give out a sound when you're recording or monitoring or trying to get a good accurate playback to where it actually muffles your sound and the shape of the actual base port on the front of these is made that way in order to eliminate some of that air chuffing sound that you're gonna get when you're using these in your setup. So right after build quality, the next thing we're gonna go into is all of the features and functions. And right here on the back, you guys will see it has the on off switch, very heavy duty switch, along with the power cable input. Then you have your RCA input, a TRS input, and you also have an XLR input. I'm happy that they have all three separate here because it makes it easy for people who need to plug in many different devices to possibly use one of the different ports so that way you don't have to keep going into the back of these and fussing with your different inputs and outputs. It'll just automatically use the input that you currently have playing through it. You also have your volume knob all the way in the back with a nice center detent at the 0 dB mark so you always know when you're right at 0 dB and these are very very loud speakers by the way we'll get to that when we get to the sound quality and one of the standout features of the Cali Audio LP range is that they have a whole series of dip switches here on the rear of the speaker and you have corresponding setups to where if you move any of these dip switches up or down they're going to correspond to a different setup that you may have in your own room they have different speaker stand setups, setups when they're right next to a wall, setups when they're actually on your desk next to a wall, or if they're free floating. They have different settings for no matter where your environment is that you're going to use these, so that way you change the EQ settings of the speaker, so that way your room has the best monitoring experience for the use that you're going to use these speakers in. So you have a whole series of dip switches here on the back, and you can change them in order to contour the sound to the sound of your room. The dip switches really do work really well. They really drastically change the sound signature that's coming out of these speakers. So that way, no matter where your setup is, how near or far you are from a wall, if you're on a desk or if you have these things free floating, you're going to get the perfect sound for your listening environment. So next up, let's just move on over to the sound quality. The sound quality of the LP8s is very, very good. They're very, very loud, by the way. So if you're using speakers that are monitors in order to do like a DJ performance or your DJ practices when you're in your bedroom or your small studio, then these are definitely going to be better than most of the others out there that are on the market. They have a nice loudness to them. They have very nice mids and highs that are very, very detailed and they sound very, very accurate. The bass is really, really punchy and it's really controlled. It doesn't really rattle or boom too heavily, but it's really, really punchy. It's very deep and you get a nice deep sense of your bass they're almost a little bit of roundedness on the bottom end but not as round as the older generation of rockets that most DJs are probably used to if you want something with a little more bass you might want to go in that rocket lineup but these have a nice punchy 
punchy bass that's not exaggerated, but you really won't even need a subwoofer with these. I know Cali Audio now has a subwoofer out that will match well with these, but with these eights, I don't believe you really even need a subwoofer, especially if you're doing dance music or hip hop or EDM style tracks where you want to feel that bass punch. These are going to be perfect for you. They're going to actually be perfect for when you're doing your mix down. So that way you get a real good sense of the bass. Also, if you're really into serious production work, you might want to get another set of speakers that are actually a little bit more flat than these. These might be your other reference monitors that you're using when you want to really feel or see the type of bass response you're getting from those tracks that have great bass. But when you're really, really mixing music, you still want something super, super flat. And those usually come in at a way higher price point than these. These are only $249 each right now in the market. Other different style of monitors that are more flat and more super accurate those are going to run you between like 700 and upwards of thousands of dollars so at this price point you're getting a pretty accurate representation but not perfectly completely accurate and flat and true to the actual source material but it's very close especially in the highs and the mids again the bass is very punchy it doesn't wobble or vibrate or make unnecessary over punchiness with the bass it's just nice smooth and very very controlled deep cool bass so in conclusion the lp8s are great for djs and producers and those who want like a nice workhorse of a speaker that is already powered and they can use it for both use cases for your practicing for your monitoring and for your production they have a nice solid mdf enclosure and they also have that front facing bass port so that way you don't have to have these close up against the wall and have nowhere for your bass air to actually escape from it also has all three inputs, so they have you covered with the RCA, the TRS, and the XLR. And it also has these really good dip switches on the back that allow you to change the sound of the speaker depending on where you have them placed in your environment. They're also very loud. They're louder than other 8-inch woofer style studio monitors that are in this range. So that's going to make them really good for those who want to DJ and also who those who want to monitor at the same time. You also get really punchy and deep controlled solid bass. So you might not need any additional subwoofers here. And the mids and the highs are really crisp and really clear. On the downside, the only real negative I can see with these is that they're not completely perfectly flat in their sound signature so you might want to get another set of monitor speakers that are more flat something like the Yamaha's that are out there or maybe something that is about higher price range if you're really serious about production and you really need to get that absolute flat sound you're probably going to want to pick up another set of monitors but these are great all-around monitors they're good for most of your production needs and most of your practice at home dj needs and they're definitely going to foot the bill for most of the djs who watch this channel here at djbooth.net so make sure you guys hit the thumbs up if you like videos like this one make sure you subscribe so that way you know exactly when your new videos are coming out and as always thanks for watching